Hey Fun Fans, Nick Jr. here, and something that Fun's going to be doing a little bit differently this season is breaking down uh, team updates that are released from first, as well as kind of this intro video of some rules that teams should be looking out for uh, that are m maybe different from previous years or some really game-specific that uh, we think that every team should be aware of, and even a couple of those rookie teams that might not be familiar with certain rules that are really pointed out to them. So uh, this will be the first video. We're looking to do updates hopefully every Saturday with each team update and uh, why they're important important to your team and why they need to really look out for it. So moving into this year, let's kind of break down uh, a couple rules that I think are important as well as the first team update uh, for Rapid React. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now is supported by Kettering University. Discover why Kettering University is the number one choice for many first students and schedule your tour at Kettering.edu. And by Stryker Careers. Help create the next medical breakthrough in a fantastic internship or career when you visit careers.stryker.com. So the first thing that I want to do is kind of take a look at a couple of the game rules um, as well as um, a few things that are you know inputted in the manual before I kind of move to the team update that I think are like I said, important that really should be looked out for. So the first one we're going to take a look at here is G107. And that's going to be uh, don't extend uh, over yourself. So uh, as multiple years, this kind of you know changes. And uh, so this year, uh, the frame perimeter rule is really looking like 16 inches. Um, and I know that you know between different years, this is going to kind of change uh, periodically. So um, and for this year specifically, they're looking at you know cannot extend more than 16 inches. So if you're planning on doing um, any sort of over the bumper intake or anything of that sort, or even uh, your climber and how you're planning to get to the transversal bar, it's really important that we need to make sure and look out for that you're not extending past uh, those 16 inches. Um, the next one is kind of a correlation with G203 and G404. Um, and this kind of uh, is pointed out where, you know, the don't collude with your partners to shut down major parts of gameplay. Um, and, you know, and this can... This states, you know, two or more robots that appear to a referee to be working together may not isolate or close off any major elements of gameplay. So that could be, you know, fully blocking the terminal. It could be shutting down opponents' access to their cargo as hoarding cargo. And that kind of goes into G404 that I'll talk about here shortly. Um, and, you know, uh, shutting down robots to a certain part of the field and that thing. I know this is kind of a, a reoccurring rule that happens every year, but I think it's important to notice uh, G404 which I'll go next to here. And that's not hoarding opposing cargo, and that correlates with G203 as shutting down part of the game. Uh, what's important here is that a robot may not restrict access to more than three opposing alliance cargo. Um, I know in the kickoff video, as well as a lot of the videos, they said that you can um, intake more than just your alliance color. And that's really important. Um, just noting the fact that if you do hang more, it's a foul plus an additional tech foul for every five seconds in which it's not corrected. So it's important to note strategy of cargo ho uh, hoarding, and I think it's going to be a big part of this game. Uh, what is important to note is that you're really not able to um, you're not able to have more than two of those cargo into the last 30 seconds. So it's important to communicate with your alliance partners and get into matches that that's really going to be um, an important factor uh, this season. Uh, next we're going to go to is G204, which is stay out of other robots, and I know this has been a, a rule that's kind of been going over Chief Delphi, but I think that this is really important because in the previous years this rule has always been written to say um, stay out of other robots, a robot may not use a component outside its frame perimeter, you know, such as an intake to initiate contact with an opponent robot inside the vertical projection of the opponent's robot's frame perimeter. Now this rule used to be written that there would only be a foul given if there was damage done to the robot. So I know, for example, when I was with 4130 in 2018, um, we had a couple of times where a robot would come into our robot's frame perimeter, and one of the times they had actually ripped off a pneumatic tank, and there was a, a tech foul given for that. I think it, it was also a yellow card that year. Um, but this rule has specifically been written now to show that it's only, or it's, you know, if you break the frame perimeter, say, with an intake, um, it's a foul immediately. So I think that this is a, an important proponent of this year's game, and it's important to, you know, make sure you're communicating with your drivers and even your alliance partners. Say you're competing at a week one and may have some inexperienced uh, alliance members and driving capabilities, that it's important to really point out this rule if you have them plan on playing defense and helping your alliance in that sense. 
Uh, next role I want to take a look at here is G207, let them shoot. Uh, a robot may not contact either directly or transitively through cargo, and regardless of who initiates the contact, an opponent robot whose bumpers are contacting their launch pad. So remember that launch pad is that piece of HDPE that is hooked to um, the spot where you're to climb. Forgive me, I'm, I don't remember the name right now, but... Um, it's important to note that it says transitively through cargo. So given how bouncy that these balls are that we are given this year to manipulate, it's important to note that if you're chasing after one and it's bouncing and you happen to go after the ball and it hits somebody while they're contacting their launch pad, that is a foul. So it's you know really important to be aware of what you're kind of at with that sense and uh, really ensure that you're not uh, you know, you're careful of what's in front of you, and if you go after that ball, that there is a possibility that you may hit that robot and get, be given a foul for that sense. Um, and the last rule that I want to take a look at before we look at the team update, um, and I'm sure this has been viewed by most people, but it's important to note that a robot cannot catch cargo. So, it, you know, a robot may not repeatedly gain greater than monetary control of cargo released by an upper exit until and unless that cargo contacts anything else besides the robot or cargo controlled by that robot. So it's important that, you know, inadvertently or unintentionally, it says right here, that your robot is not going to be able to catch a ball falling from the upper exit. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you sit there and wait for a ball to fall out of the upper exit, that, you know, that's a foul. They're not going to let that happen. So it's important that we take a look at that as well. And finally, taking a look at the, the team update here, um, a pretty basic one, not too much information, but there's a couple things that have situated. Um, one thing I do want to highlight here is the kit of parts drive base kit. I know that um, Andy Baker has put something on Chief Delphi as well, but I think it's important to note that um, due to some of the errors, some of the drive base kits, if you opted for that, uh, were shipped without the 160 tooth belts for the long version. And uh, there were some hubs that were also uh, out of spec due to a manufacturing error. So I'd recommend go ahead and take a look at uh, Andy Baker's Chief Delphi post on how to um, go about receiving new parts and making sure that your hubs are good. Um, it also you know, notifies it in here. And uh, it's important to note that you know January 14th is the date uh, to request those. So uh, moving down in here to the first update that we're going to see is to the vision target section 5.8. Uh, the distance from the field carpet to the top of the target assembly is 8 feet 8 inches. Um, and then changed here as well, the distance from field carpet to the bottom of the vision tape is 8 feet uh, and 5 and 5 8 inches. So it's important that that measurement's now there to be, make sure that uh, your vision ring is within uh, you know, the threshold that it's supposed to be. Uh, moving forward, uh, an update to G210 during auto no defense. Um, I know that there is still some uh, there is still some questions about this. So they did add the line of nor an opponent robot, uh, but I, I'm expecting another update to come out of here as well to further clarify uh, G210. Um, H404 auto cargo delivery. Uh, they just said you know during auto. Obviously that's assumed, but um, made sure that that's uh, you know fully updated as well. And then the same thing with teleop cargo delivery. Uh, nothing uh, of sorts here, uh, just kind of adding some uh, further uh, clarification on R504 as well. Um, there's one that I wanted to hit here. Yeah, T401 is important as well too. During the period when the arena is open for measurement, uh, robots cannot be enabled, but may neither drive, extend, nor extend out of their frame perimeter. So they're saying that you're not even allowed to, you know, if your intake goes out of your frame perimeter, to flip it down. Um, so that's really important to ensure that you're not um, given a yellow card for that sense for something that you may not have been aware of. So, you know, they're, you're not allowed to drive, which has been pretty apparent, but you're now not even allowed to extend outside of the frame perimeter. And you're not allowed to score, pick up, or interact with anything of the hangar or the hub. So that's really important as well. Um, and then finally, kind of the main thing that we're looking at, um, or the main uh, update that we're seeing here is, uh, you know, the uh, Michigan State Championship capacity being dropped down from 200. Uh, for those of, you know, who like me who live in Michigan, um, the event actually never got to 200. Uh, the 2020 was the first year that Michigan State Championship was supposed to see 200 teams. And 
<clears throat> obviously with COVID, uh, that didn't happen. So I'm assuming with, you know, the championship being moved down to one, uh, and, you know, just the drop of teams that we're seeing, you know, globally right now, uh, that capacity was dropped down to 160, but in reality it's being capped at 160 because the last time the Michigan State Championship happened, uh, it was at 160. So, and then furthermore, they just add a, you know, a, a definition of control. So be sure if you had any questions on control to take a look at that and that new definition as well. So again, that'll be, uh, you know, this is the kind of the completion of the update as well as the intro video. Like I said, uh, as team updates come out, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be creating videos on what's breaking down with that update and, you know, what's important and why it's important for your teams to know. So for first, first updates now, I'm Nick Jr. signing off. Thanks to Striker Careers for their support in this video. First alumni and mentors are making Striker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Over one-third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades 8 through 12 and located in the continental U.S. scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.